How many dicks does it take to get the center of a Tootsie Pop? Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam. That's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and today we are starting on Prey. This is really exciting. So I'm pretty excited about this game because uh, I played it to see if it would work well on the show and wound up playing it for like an hour and a half and it's just like, oh no, I don't want things to be spoiled for me, but it's so interesting that, you know, things happen. All right, so we're, we're going to play on easy because uh, we don't know what's happening. Don't address it. I was hoping no one would yeah, notice. Everyone noticed it. All That's right, we're going to we're gonna be we're going to be a pretty lady. <laughs> you know, I played the original Prey. Did you ever play it? Was that the one where, like, you, you were, were a Native American and, uh, like, aliens came down? I specifically remember playing it uh, because two things. One, the intro to that game, you started in a bar, and there were a bunch of uh, arcade machines. And you can go up and play the arcade machines. It was the first game I'd ever seen that. I thought it was really, really cool. Hmm. Uh, and also, I was horrified, though, because you, the other mixed thing that happened in that game is that you're playing a Native American, and then, like, you're... Your area uh, gets attacked by these aliens, and these aliens start killing all these Native Americans. Yeah. And I legitimately, as a high schooler, was just like, that's horrible. They've had enough bad things happen to them to have aliens come in and fuck up their day. You're not wrong. And oh, then, that, little, that little text there said that we wake up in our apartment in the year 2032. Okay. So, yeah, we're also going to, going to make a point to not, you know, rush through and, you know, ruin story things. We're just... Cause, I want to experience this game along with, uh, Good I just want to experience morning. this game. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Ah, beware the march. Ides of March. I don't trust March at all. Yep. The March hair. Marching Ooh. bands. You know, given how much inflation goes, this is a really expensive, nice apartment. You must have a good job. Yeah. That's, uh, what is, I that, mean, your, is that the iPhone 40? I was just going to say, that is a shitty looking iPhone. Incoming call. Pre-order bonus. Yay! <laughs> Pre-order bonus. You got Thanks. a shotgun. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, he's telling you to dress up, Adam. Oh, yep. Listen. Uh, oh. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. I shake it. Like I shake it. Shake it. <laughs> This, right. has a, this has an eerily feeling to uh, some Gordon Freeman stuff going on. You got your, like, I'm assuming you're Excerpt a scientist. from Architect in the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crossed my mind, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's <laughs> conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. But okay. Yeah, you definitely you're a scientist. You got a cool Ooh, suit. Sparkling wine. There's some Gordon Freeman stuff happening here. Congrats, Morgan. Thanks, Alex. Oh my god, your name's Morgan. Morgan Freeman? Aha! Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Take that, purse. <laughs> Hate my purse. Yep. Alright. So Sun-dried tomato. Ooh. Take all the things. Yeah, glass. I don't know what the hell that's. A, yeah, that was something from Sky King pomegranate, the king of the sky. Cold mountain green tea, sweet, mm. sweet tits. Ha <laughs> that. that. Take was that, your my mug. mug. Excerpt from Chapter Five of The Heart of the Walk by P. Sudo. Cooking with a well-seasoned world. Wow. Okay. Some now to blah blah. Yeah. Okay. Things about cooking. Yeah. You do some cooking around here. All right. Like I, I'm trying to go up to the window. I want to see the city. I'm trying to make sure to catch all of the. Oh, we'll go out on the balcony. Even better. It's jammed. Nope. The door's jammed. Your apartment sucks. Get a new one. It's pretty out there. Is what? That, is oh, that are we Cincinnati? in future? Yeah, Cincinnati. With it looks their like very in Cincinnati. That bridge is in Cincinnati. Cincinnati does not have a suspension bridge. Yes, it does. I've driven over it many times. I not that big. I don't know. It's a distance. Man. Pretty sure Maybe that's truck of the eye. It's a distance. It's a distance. <laughs> it's a Corwin, distance. 2017. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, Read it, Adam. Yeah, Read it. yeah. That's uh, totally uh house looking thing, and uh, one dude. There's some bookshelves. A, a dude standing next to a dude sitting. 
Uh, also, another a weirder house looking thing. Okay, I'm done. That house fell that's, over. That was a hurricane. Uh, let's see. Paris. Okay, that, that sounds interesting. For example, conducting a meta-analysis meta of over 2,000 Gansfeld trials, wherein participants are subjected to a mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy, reveals a hit rate of 39%. These results, wow, these results that's are a, statistically significant. Yeah, yeah. That's a Meaning that the success rate telepathy. is above what could be explained by chance alone. There's no denying it. Something spooky is going on. <laughs> See, you kill your yeah. uh, spooks. <laughs> like, you kill your credibility when it's just like, Spooky! <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons, man. Spooky, scary skeletons. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can subject make blah, 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 blah? Okay, yeah. My inner life. Oh, wait. Okay, so. My inner life. I explain by... Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among bearing neurons, or is it fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? This is very profound for... I'm, just, I'm just thinking deeply. In general. An account of Fermi's question. You know what? Billions. Fermi asks okay. a lot of questions, and to be honest, I'm sick of Fermi's questions. They're always semi pretentious. Ha! <laughs> I love breaking things. It's only like things. a $200 controller or whatever. Hands on electronics. Got some screws and bolts. Yep. See if there's anything else we can pick up. Ha! Just, just fuck it. I. Okay. Uh, Enter password. Oh no, it was uh, Z, is that button. Okay. Boom. Wow, you just knew the right. password? Well, yeah, it's my computer. Hello, Morgan. I'm glad to see you're coming aboard soon. First official workday is Mon oh, Monday, March 15th. That's today. Mm. First, we have a series of training exercises. We run on all new employees. What just some shocker. stuff to clear, your li clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Tom Tucker. <laughs> Tom that's the, is Tucker. That's the, uh, the news yeah, anchor for the Family is. Guy. It is. Hi, I'm Tom Tucker. I wonder if he shaved his mustache. Hey, I sent a package to, uh, with everything you'll need for your first day, uniform, transcribed, and neuromod. Installing neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests firing in the mor or tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions, I'll be in touch. Ready? Hey, I just got on the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they sent their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both their and both her children are going to be outside Earth's gravitational pull at the same time. Mom should be impressed her ovaries extended that far. <laughs> oh, that's so. Don't space picture that. No ovaries. Space. Um, they're spoveries. Spoveries. <laughs> she said, "You better behave and do everything your big brother says." Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll prob oh, I'll prob <laughs> call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very very soon, Morgan. I feel Alex. like I feel like everyone's really excited about your ideas up there. Is like translates like you're up there with like a glass of milk and you're like. <laughs> and you're trying to catch milk, but like just playing Why really. Milk? You got like a you got like a a four square box game out, and you're just like trying to toss the just playing with gravity, dumb stuff. Neuromod application history. Neuromod should only be administered by certified trans star technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness in the eye shortly afterwards. Remove Neuromod from vacuum sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against the bony orbit of the eye socket. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against the eye for five minutes. Jeez, dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Okay, so... That sounds hot. That's clearly a thing. Here, just hold still for five minutes. And I'll just <laughs> shove this into your eye. Yeah, as I drop the mouse and probably give everyone vertigo. Okay, so I think... So that's, that's our apartment. That's the apartment. Oh, there's a helicopter. Got a helicopter in the wall. In the wall. Oh, hey, and the look. windows and the walls. So the helicopter drops down. On my balls. <laughs> Comedy. Comedy, <laughs> folks. All right. We got a sprint. Just breaking your neighbor's house. All right, we have whatever. a sprint. Morning, miss you. I miss you too. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck what your asshole. lamp. <laughs> there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Because you're what? so important. How do you assume that? Why would you assume that? All right. So, roof. My floor. Those are your two options. Just. Oh, I actually. Yeah, you got to hit the examine before you can actually hit buttons. Please wait. 
Just 50. Roof. Roof. Wait. Cool. Now I can see fine. I'm glad there's more of these things. <laughs> it's fine. that to open the door. Everything's fine. What a fancy looking little chopper. Hey, all right. First day on the job. I'm going to introduce you to the, the pilot. You're just going to... All right. I think we're we're far enough into the future that it's uh, pilotless now. Ms. Yu, please make nope. Oh. <laughs> we'll be on our way. No, I'm perfectly Trans comfortable. Bethesda Softworks. Thank you, Bethesda. You the greatest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons I bought this in the first place is because Bethesda it was... Well, no, it was marketed as, like, the... Uh, the successor to System Shock 2, like, even more so than Bioshock was. Like, they're just like, yeah, Bioshock was great as a successor to System Shock, but this one's an even better successor to System Shock. And wow. System Shock was a great game, That's and also, I mean, so was... Yeah. Bioshock is some of my favorite games, games ever, games. so this is yeah. in the same family. That's really exciting. Yeah. That's really exciting. Woo. Did they buy the rights? Because I don't think that they did the original Prey, did they? I don't... I don't think this has anything to do with I don't with think the, it does either. I think, just, I think the original you don't have to Prey buy wasn't a successful game. It wasn't. It and, definitely uh, wasn't. And then they um, they just took the name and they're doing something new with it. Yeah, I don't think they so much as took the name as you can't copyright a single word. <laughs> so I don't think they had to buy rights to use the name Prey because that's just a word. I don't know, man. This is America. America, we can do all kinds of crazy knick-knack paddywhacks. And yeah, like dogs' bones. No. That's bestiality, and that's illegal. Except for, I think, in Alabama. Here we are, Ms. I know, like, well, it's one of the fans in like, Alabama. Let us know. Can you fuck your dog? <laughs> well, that's not what I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's one of those where uh, I can't remember if that's one of the... Like, it's one of those where, like, it's in Maine or something. It's illegal to slap someone with a fish. Uh, you can't curse oh, in public in Connecticut. Hello. It's like shit like that. Oh. Um, but yeah, like, it, it's one of those just strange facts that exist. And on the next episode, we'll talk to this science operator. So, uh, guys. <laughs> science operator. <laughs> How do you, uh, Adam and I have, uh, s several pets apiece. How, uh, how do you think we got our first pet? Answer down below. Uh, we'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who get it right. Suggest games you want to see us play. And if you like our stuff, share it around to other people you think would like it. Cause that would be, that'd be great fun. Ding! Bye everybody. <laughs> Goodbye.